Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. All right, people. So we're about a day removed from the news that Manny Pacquiao won't be facing Errol Spence uh, come what the end of August. It's going to be your Dennis Zugas. Now, I'm going to do a separate video. It's going to go straight up after this. Your Dennis Zugas is a good opponent. You know, make no mistake about it. Your Dennis Zugas is still a tough fight. Very game, very good welterweight, top 10, arguably top 5, but definitely top 10. So I'm not going to complain about that. I'm not going to talk much about that in this video. It's for a separate one. A lot of people have said that Errol Spence is straight ducking, that he's faked this injury. They saw the sparring footage, and I saw that footage myself a couple of weeks ago, of Errol Spence looking a little bit sluggish in sparring, it has to be said. I'll touch on that now in a sec. And Manny Pacquiao looking great in sparring, looking great in training. Now, what I want to say about the sparring footage... I did see the clip of Errol Spence sparring, and to be honest with you, in my opinion, he didn't look that bad. Did he look like he was setting the world alight? No. But there have been plenty of fighters who've looked sluggish in sparring. I remember Floyd Mayweather, I forget the guy's name now, Paul something I think his name was, I could be wrong with that, but it was something like that. And he had a terrible spar against him, you know. There's been loads of footage of, you know, fighters throughout the years having, you know, bad moments, looking shaky in sparring, not looking like, you know, they're fully there in sparring in terms of, you know, physically, athletically or anything like that. In terms of what Errol Spence looked like, he didn't look horrendously bad. And you got to figure it like this, right? A lot of times in sparring, you rotate sparring partners. You could be doing a cycle of about 10 rounds. You could have someone in for three, you have another partner in for another three, and maybe you have a third partner in for four. So... Technically speaking, you could be in the 8th round of the 10th round, and the guy you're sparring could be only in the 2nd round. Therefore, he's going to look better. It's just the way it is. So I don't read too much into sparring when I see clips like that. Obviously, if you see someone get dropped or something like that, yeah, you can read something into that, fair enough. But in terms of that clip, I didn't think Spence looked too bad, necessarily. He didn't look... There was nothing I saw in that clip that made me think, oh my god. You know, someone linked me in Discord... Um, a couple of weeks back when they showed me that and I was looking at it and it's actually in Hatman's server and me and him were both like he doesn't look too bad you know people were making it out as though he looked you know oh Jesus this is Spence he didn't look that bad in terms of the eye injury the first thing I thought of when I thought of that was um, a sparring accident then I kind of thought hang on a sec when I flash back and think of that mugshot after that car crash that left eye looked bad you know that eye normal quite fine that eye all over the shop you know it was reddened it was everything so when i thought about that i thought you know what that eye must not be right there must be because look however someone said look that crash was nearly two years ago Errol Spence is fully recovered from it i will tell you now right there are crashes i've heard stories about them in the past where people who've been in crash where have not been thrown from a car they've just been in a, a normal crash and they've never fully recovered years later. What I mean by that is they're still, they're not crippled or anything like that, but there's still residual damage, you know, muscle pain, back pain, stuff like that, that has stemmed from said car crash. So you're never going to be fully, fully 100%. All right. And Errol Spence was thrown at high speed from that Ferrari. This was, um, if you, you've seen the footage, I'm sure most people would have seen the footage of the crash. That was a monstrous crash. How he survived that he should thank God, everyone above for that because that could have been a lot worse than it was. And for him to escape, now we were told it was just a couple of badly broken teeth and that's really it, you know, cuts and bruises. Some people dispute with that. Um, you know, we heard rumors that Errol Spence was, was worse than that. I'd be very surprised if there was some more residual damage there because it was, it was a bad, it was terrible. Right? It was absolutely violent. It was terrible and for me, there, there definitely would have been residual damage there. Of course there would have been. And for me, when I look at the mugshot and seeing how badly mashed up certain parts of his body looked, there has to be, I want to say residual damage there, physically, mentally, emotionally. So when I heard that eye, it was the left eye. That's the first thing I thought of. And at the end of the day, people have been saying, look, he doesn't want to fight Pacquiao. Well, just look at this in context. Let me put this in context, right? Errol Spence, right, was willing to travel to the UK in 2017 to fight Errol Spence. And he was on the come up at the stage, right? But he was willing to go to the UK, fight Kell Brook, you know, cut all his weight. And that was a hard weight cut for both guys. But he knew what he was getting in there with. He could have gone a different direction, but he didn't. 
He chose to fight Kell Brook. Right? He went in to the Lions Den in Sheffield. He won his world title. Okay? Now, that was then. Four years later, it's Manny Pacquiao. Now, Manny Pacquiao is one of those legacy fights. You get Manny Pacquiao even now on your resume, it says, it means something. All right? This was Errol Spence's coming out party. All right? Manny Pacquiao may be 42 years old. It's still Manny Pacquiao. He would have made a lot of money. Most of us believe he would have won. I certainly believe he would have won because I think Pacquiao was just... If he was active, mm, but two years out of the ring of 42 at welterweight, I don't think that's going to end well for Pacquiao personally in there against Errol Spence. So for me, incentively, there was no reason to pull out unless you absolutely 100% had to. So... I don't see why Errol Spence would just make this up because maybe camp's not going well. I just, I, this is one of those cases where I, I, I doubt that it does happen occasionally that fighters do have a bad camp and they do backtrack from a fight, you know, or maybe reschedule it. I don't doubt that. But think of it like this, right? And here's the thing I want to say, right? We are living in a time where it's easy as ever to pull out of a fight or have a fight pushed back. It's easier than it's ever been before, Right? All you need to do is test yourself a few times and eventually you'll pop, right? I'm not talking about PEDs. Why didn't you just do that? Why say it's an eye? Why say... I wouldn't... But I I definitely think that Errol Spence, there is an issue there. And he probably knows himself from that car crash that any risk to his health long term is just not worth it. It's not like he nearly died. He's got kids. If that car crash taught Manhattan, it would have taught him that life is fragile. If there is an issue with their eyes, with his eyes, I'm sure he's thinking, do you know what? I got lucky once. I got very lucky. I ain't taking no risks like that again. Whether it's in the ring or outside of the ring, I almost didn't come home to my daughters. I'm not having that. So with this case, I really, like me personally, the outside looking in, I think it's legit. I don't think that Errol Spence is pulling out because of... Look, as I said, you know, I mean, we've seen it before, you know. A fighter's rescheduled. Like, Tiafima Lopez, George Cambosis Jr. Everyone was saying it. Tiafima Lopez struggling to make weight. All of a sudden, you know what? You know, I, for me, if Errol Spence needed more time, why did he just do that? You know, or if he wanted to reschedule it for a couple of months, he could have done that. Why go through all this? And why do it so coming up so close to a fight against Manny Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao was still a name, but for me, I, I just don't see it. I just don't see why he would do that at the end of the day. That's just my opinion. You know, I could be proven in six months time to be completely wrong. You know, but just me from the outside looking, I just I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I think Errol Spence wants these big fights. He's a draw. He's an excellent fighter. Excellent fighter, Errol Spence. Excellent fighter. In recent years, prior to the crash, it was annoying watching him go the way he was going, ballooning up and weight drinking, because and talking the way he was talking. Because to me, that was like that wasn't the Errol Spence I saw coming up. You know, since the car crash, he seems to kind of have calmed down a little bit. And I think that this is just a case of, do you know what? You need surgery on this. He said he's been to three different doctors, and they've all said the same thing. Maybe he's thinking, do you know what? I could go in there, probably could be Pacquiao, but I don't want to take any risks because Manny Pacquiao, even at 42, still fast, still hits hard. If he know, if he smells blood in there where Errol Spence, he's going for it. So for me, just from the outside looking, as I said, I think that this is legit. I don't think that Errol Spence is pulling out because he's afraid of Manny Pacquiao or he's worried about anything like that. I think it's legit. You know, that's just my opinion. Your Dennis Ugas is the replacement. He was scheduled to be on this card anyway. So for me, look, it's a good replacement. I'll talk about that now in a separate video. For now, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that I'm completely mad and that Errol Spence actually, you know, just didn't want to fight Pacquiao? The sparring footage that he looked, you think he looked a lot worse in the sparring? He's thinking, no, I don't want to fight this fight. I don't want to fight this man. Let me know in the comment section below. For now, lads and lassies, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, of course. All that good stuff. For now, people, I'll talk to you. Peace.